So today's action blockbusters are all the rage, and I know there's a lot of debate over uh, whether it's actually good content. Do you feel that romance films are dwarfed by these action blockbusters? I don't actually. I think, I mean, they're not dwarfed by the action blockbusters. The ones that do well, the action blockbusters, tend to have a romance in them. So I would consider them romances in many ways. Even Wonder Woman had a romance in it. It just so happens that she was the lead and she was stronger in the relationship. Um, so I don't. I, I think that in order for us to have great movies, there's generally a little bit of romance in all of them, personally, for me. Um, my concern is more so the negative content that comes out. So much of our content that we're watching right now has a negative spin to it. Everything's depressing. Somebody did something wrong to you or hurt you, and it has a more of a negative side to it. And, and I think that we need romance movies in order to bring back the positive. We need to have positive outlooks on relationships and people and look at people in a positive way as opposed to all these negative movies. So my concern is more the negative movies than the action blockbusters. I love an action blockbuster. Oh, do you, well, I know, I think Xanadu is, mm -hmm. what was that your favorite uh, film growing up? It was my favorite film when I, you know, when I watched it, <laughs> I was four. <laughs> uh -huh. um, when it came to South Africa, I think it was a few years after it was released here. And, um, I, you know, I love Xanadu. Xanadu is the story of a muse. I mean, a muse who helps an artist be as creative as he can. and. And so that's, I mean, that's beautiful. It's a beautiful love story. And she, you know, leaves Xanadu to be with him. And it's, it's a beautiful love story. So for, even from a young age, you just remember just falling sort of in love with love stories. It, it just drew you in? Uh, I have, yeah, I've always been in love with love stories. I think that it's, again, it's, it's showing people in a positive relationship. That's, you know, there's always struggles. There's always something that's going to be difficult within this relationship, and you have to figure out your way to on, on how to get through it in order for you to be together, or yeah, it, whether it be in a friendship or a relationship, or work partnership. I think that um, showing relationships in a positive light is really important, and I've always enjoyed watching that in movies. And I think that our best movies that have ever come out are romances. I mean, you can look at anything. Titanic is a romance. Avatar is a romance. I think James Cameron basically got the romance genre down, <laughs> even though he's surrounded by sci-fi. Um, but uh, you know, our top movies are romances, and I think that people should watch them. Well, it's a nice twist, too, because we see so many of these, uh, quote, movies geared toward women mm -hmm. where someone's being stalked, someone's right. in an abusive relationship, or feels sort of hemmed in in her middle-class world or whatever. So it sounds like you're, you're really about uh, maybe uh, not just empowering them, but also then you add sort of the sexuality aspect, which how is that perceived in the States? I'm sure in other countries it's probably more embraced yeah. than here. Um, well, so lots of good questions there. Uh, so the, the main thing about sexuality in the U.S. with women is that, you know, it's taboo. We're not allowed to talk about it. We have to whisper it. We're not allowed to say anything. Right. Heaven forbid you have sex with somebody. Um, whereas men can talk about it very openly and in fact can brag about it and it's seen as part of their everyday conversation. Uh, and I think that that's wrong. I think that women should have the ability to discuss openly any sexual activity that they're having with their friends or with their lovers, I think in order for them to be empowered in their sensuality and their sexuality. And I think that will ultimately, if we can get to that place, which is what Passion Flicks hopes that we can uh, get to, then um, I think that we would have a little bit more strength when it comes to maybe sexual harassment. Uh, if we are able to openly say, no, this is not what I'm comfortable with, this is what I'm comfortable with, this is how I feel about sex, this is how I feel about sensuality, then I think that we'll be a little bit more open, a little bit more confident in our ability to deal with a lot of sexual harassment. So it probably sounds like showing women living normal lives, being, quote, good girls, but also being okay with the fact that it doesn't necessarily have to brand them as bad girls in terms of what they're doing. Absolutely. Um, so the other thing with Passion Flicks is that we want to be able to show women, normal women. So yes, we have a lot of shows out there which are women in jeopardy. So we have, as you mentioned, we have the shows where um, something's wrong with us, our husbands are cheating on us, our boyfriends are going to try and kill us, our children hate us. Um, there's all these things that we have to deal with uh, that are pretty negative in our lives and how do we go about 
doing it and you know the neighbor is going to try and kill us so I have to try and kill the neighbor first and all these different things and that's one way of going and then we have you know more the sort of cupcake movies which is um, I like to call them more the domestication of women where you have I am a top you know vice president of a fortune 500 company in New York City but I'm unfulfilled in life because nobody loves me until I go back to my small town in Kansas because my father had a stroke, I took over the bakery, I've learned how to bake a cupcake, I've realized this is really the life for me, I've fallen in love with a carpenter and he marries me. How nice, I get to stay in that town and bake cupcakes. But there's nothing wrong with being the vice president of a Fortune 500 company and someone will love you <laughs> and you don't have to bake cupcakes in small towns in order for that to be okay. So I think that it's important that we show women can be anything from a cupcake baker, teacher, to a CEO, and still find fulfillment and love and sexuality. And I don't think it has anything to do with their job. 